Fuck you. Hey, what's up, my cochinos and cochinas? I'd like to welcome you back to another fucking video. Today, we're going to do a mukbang, gangbang, finger bang, ass bang. <laughs> Damn, bro. We're going to do all that. We're going to bang everything in the fucking sight. We don't give a fuck today. And why we don't give a fuck? Because this is Trejo's world, you know what I mean? Trejo's fucking world, which means it's your world as well because we're all in the same world. That doesn't really make sense, but you know what I mean? You guys are part of the community here. You're subscribed. If not, you're lacking, bro. You're slacking and you're pimping. Um, there's a glare right here, but it's cool because uh, I used to be married to a white girl and she used to be by my side and it was kind of the same shit, you know what I mean? Um, so I am going to, what we're going to be eating today is um, a fucking double fish a double fried fish sandwich from Jack in the Box, all right? I had to smile because there's this white lady driving by. And if I didn't smile, she'd call the cops on me. Uh, she'd think I'm, like, mean and shit, you know, because I'm wearing a bandana and I'm Mexican. So um, I had to smile. So she's like, oh, he's friendly, you know what I mean? He's cool. He ain't going to rob nobody. All right. Um, we got a fucking uh, double fish motherfucking sandwich from fucking Jack in the motherfucking Box. Demonetize me, bitch. Um, so we got that. Along with some french fries, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm on one today because I don't give a fuck. It's not really the energy drink. It's more like I'm just in a good mood, you know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and uh, finish this. By the way, I don't recommend this flavor. Now, I'm not hating on the Crips that make Adrenaline Shock. And the reason I say they're Crips is because they don't put a K at the end of Shock. Because if they did, there'd be a C and a K at the end. So, you know what I mean? They're Crips and they run this company. Um, so no disrespect to them, but this flavor, acai, is nasty as fuck. But, in all fairness, I did put hand sanitizer on the top uh, to clean it uh, first. Because I'm being extra uh, cautious and shit. So it could be because I'm ingesting um, sparkly hand sanitizer. So, either way, I don't think I like fucking acai, alright? Don't fucking sue me. All right. I mean, sue me. Yes, sue me. All right. Let me see. Sue me sounds like an Asian girl's name, huh? Hey, sue me. Did you come to this country recently or how long you been here? All right. Let's go ahead and finish this shit real quick. Shout out to sue me. Sue me's from Korea. All right. Now, you might be wondering, damn, bro. You drank all that caffeine. You're going to be fucking on one all day. I might, bro, but then I might crash because I got an iced coffee instead of a soda. And this is the new Boosted coffees that they sell. I believe it's Boosted. I could be wrong. Boost these nuts, bitch. Mm, that's bomb too, homie. Oh, and before you leave the video, because you're bored as fuck, um, we're going to talk about <laughs> we're going to talk about the time that I went to Hollywood and tried out for a movie and how that ended up uh, going down. Uh, it was kind of crazy. There's a lot of things that were involved. There was murder, um, you know, there was sex, there was fucking drugs, and uh, racism, and, you know, different shit, and we'll get into that in a little bit. Um, but let's go ahead and get intimately involved with this fish sandwich. Sandwich. Son of a bitch. All right. You guys are probably like, I was on one today. I'm always on one, bro. I do have a little bit more energy than, energy than usual, though. Energy. All right. Mmm. Tastes like twat. <clears throat> it's fucking bomb though, bro. Not for real. Double twat. Double twat sandwich on me. I never laugh at my own jokes, bro, but fuck. Mmm. Looks like your mom's spread eagle, homie. That shit's bomb though, bro. Hey. And the cool fucking thing is, the cool fucking thing is that it's only $5, bro. They give you two fucking um, fried fish fillets. Say that 177 times fast. They give you two fried fish fillets. Bro, I feel like I had a seizure just saying that. They give you two fried fish fillets. <laughs> fillets. <clears throat> See? Fillet show. Damn, bro. Um... So, yeah, they give you that for only five bucks, bro. And another cool thing is, I think this is going to be the best uh, video on my channel. No, not the best one, but it's definitely one, you know. Anyways, I'm tuning my own horn. That's called auto fellatio. All right. 
Yes, I know. We'll get into the story in a minute. Don't worry. Mmm. All the cringe compilation makers out there. So anyway. Let's go ahead and get into the story. We're going to eat this sandwich while we tell the story. Because there's a lot of sandwich, but there's also a lot of fucking story. And I know you guys are waiting. <sighs> That's just fucking delicious. It washes the hand sanitizer. Fuck, I can't talk right. I'm about to get tased by a cop because I'm brown. All right. It washes the hand sanitizer flavor out of my mouth, homie. There. Good. Calm your ass down, throw. Fucking ADHD ass motherfucker. All right. So, <clears throat> all right, check the mic one, two. So, it was about, it was a lot of fucking years ago, bro. I was 19 years old, very young, dumb, um, drained of cum because I got some all the time. And um, so that was like, what, 2002 or something, right? I decided that, hey, you know what? I think Hollywood, you know, Needs like a chubby um, Mexican, you know what I'm saying, with not the perfect teeth. Uh, they need that, bro, in Hollywood. So I decided, you know, let me move to Hollywood, you know, or work for like a taco truck or something, you know what I mean? Helping out, making my money, and then I'll go to auditions, you know what I mean, and try to get into a movie and shit. You know, I was young. I already said that, but I was young and dumb. So I was like, you know, but at the same time, you got to take risks. Because if you don't take risks, you never know what could be, you know what I mean? Now, if you do take risks, things could happen. You can get AIDS and you can get, you know, have kids that you don't want and you can end up in jail. There's different kind of risks. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the risk of, you know, pursuing something that you think may, may happen. You know, I've also done that with YouTube. I moved to Vegas before, lived there for a while because I thought one of the homies was going to put me in one of his videos, the homie Lil Moco. He never did, you know, a miscommunication thing, you know, no, no hard feelings. My channel's bigger than his now, so, you know what I mean? I'm the one laughing. Um, it's not at all. But either way, you know what I'm saying? You live and learn, but you got to try. So I tried. I'm like, I'm 19 years old. Let me, you know, try it out. So I packed up all my shit, which was like one bag because I didn't have much shit. And I went to Hollywood, right? But I couldn't find a job in actual Hollywood, so I had to go to East L.A. and try to find a job. Couldn't find one there either, but I ended up in West L.A. and I found a job. I worked with this one, you know, dark Mexican fool with glasses. It was pretty cool, bro. Me and him used to help out with this taco truck. And it was mainly me and him that was running the shit, you know what I mean? It was like Jesse Tacos or something like that, right? Mm. Double the fun, homie. You can see the fucking crispiness. The fucking slice of cheese from the refrigerator and shit right there. Mm. Jack in the box. If you're watching this, send me some coupons and shit. Alright. So anyway, I got a job working as a taco truck with the homie Jesse. His name was Jesse too. It wasn't his truck though. It was just a coincidence, right? So, my main thing was just to keep the grills clean and shit like that. But anyways, that's not what you want to hear. So I heard an audition was coming up. And I heard that they needed some fat dudes, you know what I mean? They're like... Somebody that's, you know, younger, like between 18 and 25, um, that's heavier set. That's what they used to call it back then. They were really meant fat as fuck. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go try out. You know what I mean? I want to try out. I don't know what this movie is about, you know, but we'll see. So I go 
and I stand in this long ass line. I don't know if you guys have ever been to an audition or tried out for a movie, but pretty much there's a lot of people there. Normally, I guess it depends on what it is. And the, the trippy part was it was for a role of an 18 to 25 year old um, that was heavier or chubby, whatever. But there's a lot of swole dudes in line, which I didn't really get it. I didn't know if maybe they were all on steroids and once they stopped their steroid cycle that they would just turn to fat. I really don't know. It was kind of weird to me. And I was kind of annoyed at the same time. Like, I'm standing in line and motherfuckers are like, you know, fucking going to try to take my spot. And they ain't even fat. What the fuck? So, anyways, I'm, you know, talking a million miles per hour. I'm standing in this line. I'm over there trying to fucking uh, go into this movie and try and get into it. So, I get to the front and then they're like, you know, cast member number whatever you know auditioner number whatever uh you're next and that was me so i was like all right cool it's my time to shine motherfucker <laughs> fucking hot up in this bitch so i get in right and they're like okay this is what we want you to do they handed me a script now i don't remember all the words it was just along some along the lines of like um, I don't know, it was like a fucking mystery kind of movie or something, so I don't really remember the words, you know what I'm saying, I had to calm the fuck down and bring that shit down, but anyways, I don't really remember the words, but it was fucking crazy, right, um, so I say the words, and they're like, okay, what we want you to do now is rub on your nipples, I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about, what the fuck is this, this ain't no porn, you know what I mean, I'm not gonna do that, they're like, yeah, but we just want to make sure that you can follow instructions. And so I go to do it, and they're like, ah, nah, we're just joking with you, man. You're all done. I'm like, okay, cool. And so I left, and they're pretty much like, you know, if we're interested, we're going to go through all of them. We're going to talk amongst each other. If we're interested, we'll give you a call back, right? So I'm like, all right, fuck. Whatever. So I wasn't really 100% sure, like, how much it paid and, and different shit like that. But um, I had heard through the grapevine, you know what I mean? to the wine vine that it paid like 10 G's or something like that. You know what I mean? Um, it wasn't a main role or anything. It was like a, um, you know, like a, a, a quick scene where I was just going to be in. Um, so I went back to work, you know, Jesse's taco truck, homie. And time was going by and I started to get stressed and shit, bro. I was like, man, these fools ain't going to never call. And then I, the homie had the hookup. He was like, hey, bro. You know, I know you're going through some times, bro. You want to, uh, you know, do a couple lineas and shit. So, you know, I started doing drugs, you know, like hardcore drugs and shit, bro. You know, kind of stressed, just hoping that I would fucking uh, get the part, right? So I can make that fucking money and get my, you know, stardom going in Hollywood, you know what I mean? Be the next, uh, you know, Brad unfit, you know what I mean? That's not that funny, but, you know, anyways. But, uh. I actually got the phone call, bro. It took like fucking two months and they called me. They're like, hey, we want you to do another audition um, for the same role, but for a different panel of people, right? But by then, bro, I had been doing like hella coke and I dropped hella weight, bro. Um, and they wanted me to come in the next day. So there was like nothing I could really do. So I went back in, bro, you know, looking all like fucking, you know, dark circles under my eyes and shit, you know, a lot slimmer than I am now. And they're like, whoa, 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 what happened? I was just like... To be honest, you know, I just um, been working out hard and shit. And they're like, why? You know, you know that this role might have been something that you got. And I'm just like, I know I just, you know, life. I didn't want to be unhealthy for too long. They're like, well, we're sorry. We can't continue with the process because you don't really fit the, the mold. And we're wanting to film next week. So I got rudely fucking rejected, bro. I got depressed around that time. So fucking depressed, right? <clears throat> so one night, I was just sipping, you know what I mean? Drinking, drinking, drinking. Feeling down and shit. And I, you know, not proud of it, but I jumped behind the wheel. And I went on the freeway. And I was heading... I was heading nowhere fast, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just... I didn't know where I was going. Um, I just needed to get out the house. So I'm on the freeway, right? And I'm in the slow lane. And I'm just thinking life, you know, is fucking happening. And then a boom, bro, I just fucking hit something. I'm like, what the fuck? Um, I had for a split second, and to this day, I'm kind of like, you know, 
and just out of legal or legalities, you know, this may or may not be true. Um, it's most likely not true. This is a false story. All right, there we go. But it could be true. Anyway, so there was this like fucking like a shadow of something walking in front of my car. It just happened so fucking fast. And I hit it, bro. And I think it was a dog or something. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I guess there's a likelihood that it could have been a, a human that was just crawling out. But anyways, um, Beto, anyways, it fucking happened. And, you know, like, I don't know. I said it was murder, but, you know, I didn't intentionally do anything. But it was just fucking crazy, bro. Right? That shit fucking spooked the fuck out of me, bro. I just I got off the freeway, turned back around, headed back home, right? All right. So I get back home. I'm just chilling. And I'm like so fucking like like just tripping, bro. And I have a knock. Some I hear a knock at the door. That This is that same night. You know, I was just depressed. I went out. I hit something. <laughs> went back. And I was chilling, you know, coming off my buzz a little bit. And I hear a knock at the door, right? And it's my neighbor. And my neighbor, she was like mid-30s and you gotta remember i was 19 years old she was mid-30s this white chick like i'm not trying to be mean but she was like 400 pounds kind of like she was like she looked like a fucking oki and shit you know i'm not trying to clown she looked like an oki and shit but she talked like a chola you know what i mean and she asked if i had any sugar and i was like nah i don't keep shit like that you know i eat a lot of fast food and shit i don't keep um baking products and different shit like that in my house and then she was like, oh, well, that's cool, but can I come in? And I was like, I guess, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, bro. I was just so depressed. I ended up smashing, you know, I'll get past that part. So anyways, I kept working for uh, Jesse's taco truck for a minute. And then I just kind of was like, you know what? Fuck this shit, homie. I got to head back to Stockton, you know what I mean? This ain't working for me. So I ended up coming back and... um you know, just going back to regular work. You know, it didn't work out for me in fucking L.A., bro, and in Hollywood. So, that's my story, you know what I mean? It's pretty crazy. Have any of you guys ever auditioned for a movie? And if so, how did it go for you? Mm. I think... I think all the caffeine gave me an overload, bro. I went from like 100 down to 60, you know what I mean? That's kind of like when I was in the old chicks, bro. I started out older, you know what I mean? And it got, it got younger as I went on. 100 to 60 real quick, you know what I mean? Oh, so I got to at least finish this for you. Mmm. On one, homie. Fucking on one. On that caffeine, feel me? I stay caffeinated, bro. I don't know about you guys. Fucking lighting looks weird and shit. Mmm. Well, I hope you guys stuck around to the end. If you guys are real ones. And you stuck around to the end, just type below. Say, say I need cash now. Call J G Wentworth eight seven seven cash now. It's a lot to say, but the real ones will. That's what's up, homie. Five dollars for a nice, beautiful meal. Mine came out close to six because I got the coffee. They're like good if you uh, if you just get a soda or whatever. But if you want a baby iced coffee, they want to charge you extra. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to like, ah, in their face, you know what I mean? Trying to charge me extra and shit, but I'm a, um, I'm a good civil human being. I can't be, ah, in people's faces, you know what I mean? Y'all have a good one.